Welcome to Two Minutes to Think. My name is Jeswin. Now let's start a brand new part two. As we discussed in the previous video, I told them we will be discussing 20 points in which the first 10 points would be about the superstitious beliefs or false belief and we follow certain practices in our day-to-day -day life because of those belief system. Today we are going to discuss about yet another interesting topic which is going to be a continuation of part 1. In part 1, we discuss about 10 superstitious belief which logically did not have any impact in our day-to-day -day life today. In this video, we are going to discuss about 10 unknown scientific facts behind our belief system and our practices in our day-to-day -day life. Let's see it one by one. In our Indian culture, we welcome each other by showing a welcome gesture like this. Now, most of you would have not understood the importance of joining two hands together. The scientific reason behind this is, we have a lot of nerves which is passing through this portion. In acupuncture, we call this as meridian points. When we join both the palms and press it against each other, these nervous points get activated, which enhances the blood circulation. So that was the scientific reason why we started following this posture as our welcoming gesture. Now it's also really helpful during this corona time without touching each other. Our culture has found this posture as a welcoming gesture. Whereas in a lot of other countries you would see a handshake or hugging each other is considered to be their welcoming gesture. So comparatively we have a scientifically advanced form of welcoming gesture. With that I'm welcoming everyone to two minutes to think. The second practice in our day to day life. Most of them still follow this practice when they have food. They sit on the floor while having food. Now sitting on the floor while having food has its own importance. Are you asking me how? We set our body in a specific position so that we can enhance the digestion. The food which we feed through our mouth can easily reach the intestine in the fastest way in this posture. So that's the reason we have our legs folded and we sit on the ground so that it can help in the digestion of the food. The third point is you would have heard people saying don't go out during a solar eclipse because your eyes may go blind. Now what is the scientific reason behind this? It's very simple. During solar eclipse the sun emits a lot of harmful UV radiation which is very very harmful for human body especially the skin as well as the internal organs gets affected when they are exposed to the sunlight. That's the reason they have strongly believed and also they tell not to step out during a solar eclipse day. It's not the eyesight will go blind, but yes, the UV radiation is very harmful for the body. That's the scientific reason behind this practice. The next point is very interesting point. Though most of them would be aware of this point, very few people would not be knowing this concept. Indians celebrate a festival called Navaratri. For nine days, they fast during this period or they consume very less food during this period. The reason behind this fast or consumption of less food is very simple. Navratri is followed during the seasonal change. During the change of season, our body will have very less immunity power. So in order to stabilize the energy and to balance the hygiene level of our body, we practice fasting or consume very less food so that it balances the entire digestive system and the required nutrients would be distributed across the body. Next point is going to be very useful for girls especially. According to our Indian tradition and culture, the traditional outfit which girls wear for any festival or for any function is silk saris. Silk is a texture which creates an energy field. This texture can absorb energy from the earth and it can pass it on to the body. Now that's the magical nature of this fabric. That's the reason according to our culture, ladies wear silk saris for any occasion as a traditional outfit. Similarly, for any occasion, you would have noticed girls wearing mehendi all across their hands or their palm. The scientific reason behind mehendi is it acts as a coolant. The substance of the mehendi kills germs. It enhances the immunity level and it can avoid skin disease as well. Since it's a cool substance, applying it all across the palm can also recover headache or cold. This is the scientific reason 
according to our Indian culture and tradition, ladies apply mehendi on their palm. The next interesting point is, we have a practice of applying sendur or tilak on our forehead. So what is the scientific reason behind applying kumkum on their forehead? Let's understand that. Now the kumkum substance has sodium, mercury and turmeric. Now this combination is really essential for decreasing the blood pressure of the body as well as increasing the sex drive of the body. Now that's the reason why we follow it as an Indian practice and after marriage people apply sentur or tilak. And the main reason why widows are not allowed to apply sendur or tilak on their forehead is because it may result in increasing the sex drive. So that's the reason they're not allowed to apply. One more interesting fact is the place where they apply, that is in the forehead, right behind this place, we have the pituitary gland. Now this gland is responsible for thinking as well as feeling. So that's the reason why they apply right above that particular surface. Now this is the scientific reason behind this practice. The next point is again for girls. Why in our tradition we follow a practice of wearing gold bangles, earrings or even foot ring. Let's understand the scientific reason behind wearing these ornaments. The gold or silver ornaments have a physical nature of retaining the energy level within the body itself. It will not allow the body to release its energy level outside. So that's the reason why ornaments are of gold or silver because its physical nature is to retain energy. Especially the bones of ladies are weaker when compared to gents. So when they wear the bangles, it absorbs the energy from outside and it transfers to the body. And when it comes in contact with the bones, automatically the bones gets more strengthened. This is the scientific reason for wearing bangles. And earring is the main source of healing. According to Ayurveda, there are a lot of nerves which are passing across our ear. And when a piece of metal is hanging on the ear, it automatically applies pressure on those nerves which are across the ear, due to which there are high chances the ailment of hernia can be recovered, as well as depression can be controlled to a huge level because the blood pressure will be regularized, due to which, again, girls undergoing menstruation period, that will also be regularized when applying pressure on these points across the nerves in the ear. And that's the scientific reason for wearing metal ornaments like gold and silver on the ear. And when it comes to the foot ring, you may find ladies will be wearing the foot ring in their index finger on the toe. Especially after marriage, they will wear this. The scientific reason behind this practice is, there is a significant nerve which is getting connected from the uterus till the index finger of the toe. In order to strengthen this nerve, which can ultimately result in strengthening the uterus as well. And one more major reason is the metal element on the foot ring. When it comes in contact with the earth, it transfers the energy from the earth to the body. Thereby, it can help in the active functioning of the heart as well as the nerves, whichever is connected across the body. The next interesting point is people in olden days have a belief system saying, don't go under a peepal tree after sunset. If you go under a peepal tree after sunset, you may be experiencing a ghost attack because ghosts will reside under the peepal tree after sunset. The reason why our ancestors told this is because after sunset, the peepal tree releases carbon dioxide and absorbs oxygen. So when a human being goes under or maybe resides under a peepal tree after sunset, automatically the person would not get the necessary oxygen to breathe. So maybe that person can fall unconscious under the peepal tree itself, which in olden days they believed a ghost could have attacked that person. So this was the belief. Even today in most of the places, they believe that if we go under the peepal tree after sunset, we would be engulfed by ghosts, which is not true. That person cannot get enough oxygen to breathe. That's the reason. And the next point which we are going to discuss today is in our Indian tradition, we have a practice of Rangoli or Kolam. The scientific reason behind this Rangoli or Kolam is right before they put Rangoli or Kolam, we splash cow dung water on that surface so that it helps in killing the germs on that surface. And on top of that, when they put the Rangoli or Kolam, they use the grains of rice in order to put this Rangoli or Kolam. 
so that ants or any small insects can feed themselves. That's the scientific reason behind Kolam or Rangoli. The last point which we are going to discuss today is about our daily sleep pattern. Most of the elders say, don't sleep by placing your head facing the north. What is the scientific reason behind this? Now, people who have understood the functioning of this entire earth can easily understand this. There are a lot of forces and energies which are revolving around this earth. There is a magnetic pull across the globe. Now, as we understood, the north region and the southern hemisphere and the middle we have the equator. So basically there is a magnetic pull all across the earth. Now when we are placing our head facing the north, the magnetic pull will attract iron which gets accumulated within our brain. That's the reason you can see most of them would be complaining when they wake up in the morning that I had a bad headache. Due to this reason they may not get a proper sleep as well there will be a lot of disruption in their sleep pattern and that may also affect the blood circulation in their body. Now that's the reason why they say don't place your head facing the north when you're sleeping. This is the scientific reason behind this practice. So these are the 10 scientifically unknown facts behind the practices which we follow in our day-to-day -day life. So that's two minutes to think guys. I hope that you would have enjoyed this video. I wanted you guys to suggest more and more topics. Do let me know in the comment section what you liked about this video, which point was really surprising for you guys. And if you guys know any more interesting points like this, uh, which I have not covered in this video, do let me know in the comment section. Do share this video with a lot of your friends, family, relatives, everyone guys. Those people who are very much curious to know about the scientific facts about our cultural practices, do share this video with them so they can watch it and enjoy by knowing these unknown facts. So I will see you in yet another interesting video. So until then, take care. Cheers. Love you all. Bye-bye.